Hey everyone, welcome back to another food review with me, John. What's up, Wes? Today I'm going to be doing a review at Subway. Um, I just recently saw this online. Um, this is something new to the year, but I don't think it's completely new to Subway. Because um, doing a little bit of research, I, I actually saw advertisements as far back as 1999 that they, Subway was doing this. So this is not a brand new product, but it is new to me, or at least I forgot about it. But what this is, is a Subway sandwich. And here it is. But what this is, is a Subway rib sandwich. Um, imagine if Subway had the McRib. That's basically what this is. It's a reformed rib patty. Um, let's see if I can kind of like open this up. A lot of stuff on it. So you can see the actual rib patty. There you go. You see it's the fake bone type rib patty. You see it's Subway. There is barbecue sauce on this, but it's actually on the bottom. I don't know why they didn't put it on the actual meat. It's kind of confusing if you ask me. I got some on my fingers actually. Um, but uh, looks very similar to the McRib. Um, I think what I saw online was the barbecue sauce they use at Subway is Baby Ray's. Not sure what the. I'm not sure if McDonald's uses a a branded or their own type of. Uh, barbecue sauce they probably just use their own barbecue sauce they already make um but currently you can't get a mcrib um at mcdonald's so if you want one maybe this is good enough that's what today's review is going to be about is this as good as mcrib maybe it's better or should you just avoid this altogether i got this with lettuce onion pickle, barbecue sauce, uh, American cheese, and I added bacon as well. Uh, if you've seen my McRib video before, um, I came to the conclusion that the best way to order a McRib is with cheese, bacon, and extra pickles, but that's just me. So I was trying to do something similar to that, but add a little bit of freshness with the lettuce because, you know, that's what uh, Subway is known for. Um, I did order this toasted. This was delivered, by the way. I ordered this toasted, but the bread doesn't look toasted at all. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a detriment to the review or not. Um, but I don't think McRib buns are toasted. Correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, less talk, more eating. Let's go ahead and try this out. See what it tastes like. Is it good? Will it satisfy my cravings until... October-ish maybe is when McRib comes out. It's usually around the time football starts up again. Let's go ahead and try it out. Okay, the immediate thing when you bite into this that will make you think this is not a McRib is that it is pretty much ice cold. Um, they definitely didn't toast it. Uh, the rib patty no heat on it at all. Vegetables, of course, are cold. Um, the bacon is flimsy and cold. See, that's one of the reasons why I wanted it toasted because I wanted I wanted it to be hot like a McRib would be. Let's give them one more bite. They also don't have any buns that quite resemble the McRib bun. The regular Italian one is probably the closest, which is what I got. It's definitely not a substitute for a McRib. Off the bat. Let me take a look at that. That meat patty. It just kind of looks like processed and reformed. There's no kind of meat striation or resemblance of meat. It looks like there's a lot of fat and cartilagey bits in there. Which makes me think that this is probably pork of like a low quality 
probably just like scraps, stuff that wasn't wasn't fit for roasts or chops or large pieces. Probably just all the trims. It does have somewhat of a porky, smoky flavor. So they did they seasoned it. There's some seasoning in that mix. When you think like the McRib is weird and unappetizing, if you look at the cross section of this, it just looks super weird. But I'm gonna eat it anyway. I've had impossible meats and beyond burgers that looked more like real meat than this patty does. Flavor wise, it is fine. I don't like that it's cold. Now, like the McRib, I think the bacon adds something to it, makes it a little more smoky and salty and more pork flavored. The uh, the American cheese, Subway's American cheese, is just like no flavor at all. So, especially with it with with the not toast, you want your cheese to be a little bit melty, a little bit toasty. That gives it an increased flavor. If you remember my video I did recently for the grilled cheese burrito at Taco Bell, it's the same cheese, but you just cook it differently, and it creates uh, this Maillard reaction that gives parts of it a little brownness, and it changes the flavor, and I like that. This cold cheese does nothing for this sandwich. Um, if I have to give this something out of 10... And the perfect McRib is a 10 out of 10. This sandwich is disappointing. I suppose if you didn't have a McRib for like 10 years and you wanted something somewhat resembling and close to it, like in a zombie apocalypse and somehow Subway was still open selling these, then yeah, it probably would work to satisfy something. But, that's not the case, and this is definitely not a replacement for a McRib. I'm going to give it a 5.8 out of 10. Um, it's somewhat flavor enough that it's not gross, as long as you don't look at it too much. Uh, but I wouldn't be ordering this again anytime soon. Anyway... That's it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, one up Wes. See you guys later. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye.